So as you go up in price, do you automatically get better whiskey? Here I've got six examples of the Glen Morangy lineup. If I'm saying that wrong, screw off. No matter how I say it, everybody says I'm saying it wrong. So I've got the Glen Morangy 10, the 12 La Santa, the 14 Port Finish, the Nectar Dior, the 18 Extremely Rare, and the Glen Morangy Signet. These go up in price from around $30 and they consistently go up. This one going over $100 at about $120 and this one over $300 now. It's gotten really expensive. So are they better as you go up? How would I rank them if I didn't take price into consideration? If I didn't take price into consideration, I'd probably rank them like this. But what if I ranked them with price taken into consideration? If I rank them with price in consideration, I'd go 14, Nectar Dior, 10, the 18 Extremely Rare, then the Lasanta 12, then the Signet. I find the Sherry Finish Lasanta 12 to be surprisingly good at a price point under $50. This is way more expensive than this. The 10 is a huge bargain for about $30. So now I gotta put the Signet at the top because this is an experience like nothing else I've had. It is so unique. Don't just assume that it's because it's more expensive that it's better. 